next moving forward we will talk about how communities move forward okay so this is the section of community dynamics where we will study about how ecological succession happens okay ecological succession is usually a progressive process where one particular species occupies a particular region and is taken over by the other species forming a sort of communities together where they compete for the natural resources and occupy subsequently which form larger kind of vegetations and a bigger community more complex community so usually ecological succession works towards simplicity towards complexity okay so it talks about modification of environmental condition leading to establishment of new species so let's say for example here in a region there was everything and then fire happened or there was a disturbance which led to you know drying out of everything but there were few straws which actually avail the growth of fungi and small small plants and then it led to uh, you know, growth of grasses uh, and then grasses led to growth of shrubs you now shrubs led to growth of small trees and which led to growth of large dense trees okay that happens in a series of events and each stage is called a seer okay or a seral stage now it starts with an establishment of a pioneer species the first species is usually called as pioneer species and the last species is usually called the climax species okay so there are different kind of successions which are based upon you know different ideas that if it is based upon areas it is either primary or secondary if it started with a sterile area that is it can start with a, a simple rock there was nothing on a rock and it started entirely growing a certain community so that is lithoceric succession okay and that started with a sterile area next thing is secondary which started with a damaged or abandoned area so in this example we talked about there was one area which caught fire and the disturbance led to formation of an entirely new region okay and their pioneer species established themselves so that is secondary succession whereas other examples are based on resources where it can be autogenic autogenic is circulation of resources within this community let's say in a pond in a pond right so in a pond there is water and the succession that happens inside the pond will remain inside the pond because the resources will be circulated inside only let's say for example here which the aquatic plants uh, phytoplankton died they form a filth layer okay that will be a layer for growth of other zooplankton and small uh, submerged plants will rise up then they will take up then they will rise up and form bigger plants and they will again die and form again a layer of mud which will be home for small plants aquatic plants and then they will again die off and they'll form a arcane vegetation layer, and this entire region will be filled with soil and there will be only larger trees so this kind of circulation of resources happens only inside the pond there was no external resources that was coming in okay so this is called autogenic now allogenic is where L external flow of resources happens so let's say in a, in a stream or a plains or fertilized lands so there are many examples where nothing was there but resources came in from outer sources and that became a source for succession right then uh, dominance based on dominance and usually it is about plants right so it could be autotrophic it could be heterotrophic if it is about only plants then it is autotrophic i mean which was the pioneer species if the pioneer species was a plant then that is autotrophs if the early dominance was by heterotrophs like in case of uh, burned lands in the burned lands all plant died okay so for the first occupancy was done by fungi fungi was a heterotropic system right so they are heterotrophs and hence they were the primary or pioneer species in that region and they became the initiators of the succession then comes based on progress so it could be progressive leading to a complex and dense form it could be retrogressive leading to a simpler or less dense form okay then comes based on initiation was it induced by external agent or was it cyclic okay induced by external agent in the sense as you we understood you know fire became an inducing agent where it could be cyclic cycling in the sense repetitive usage could lead to a you know, destruction of the entire thing like we humans are utilizing the entire resources so we'll finish off the entire thing and then it will again become a, a region for pioneer species to come in 
okay it could be based on ecosystem there are many such, such examples it can be hydrarch in the sense which are based on aquatic system it can be xerarch which are based on dry and terrestrial systems okay so these are different type of successions which can be there in order to you know understand how succession process happens